Hey fashionistas, how are you doing? In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make this cute shared dress with tie straps and pockets. And there is also a pattern available if you're interested. I will link it down below in the description box. These are the sewing supplies you will need and I will link everything down below in the description box as well. Now let's get started. First measurement is how much you want to cover the bust and measure the rest of the dress length. And lastly, you will need the bust circumference measurement. Once you have taken the measurements, you will need three panels, which is the main, the straps and the pockets if you're going to decide to make pockets as well. The total length is the measurement above the underboss and below is the dress length. The width is the half of the bust measurement plus the times how much extra fabric you want to gather. I don't recommend more than half of the bust measurement because you want it to be form fitting at the bust area and the elastic can only stretch as much. Decide how big you want the pocket to be and where to position it it from um, the side seam and i do recommend it to do it around the hip area the same goes for the strap the side where to position it at the top edge of the dress and how thick and long you want the straps to be after cut your pattern pieces on fabric i recommend using light to medium weight fabric thread your sewing machine with a regular matching sewing thread and then you can wind your bobbin with the elastic thread by hand you can do it a little bit with tension but not too much that you're stretching the elastic but also that the elastic is not too loose winding the thread takes only about three minutes or so and that is me filming it so you will do it faster than i did I did three and ended with two and a half after practicing. With right sides together, sew the side seams with a straight stitch. And I'm doing this first so I can save time and elastic when I'm shearing. Then overlock the seam allowance. If you don't have the budget to purchase a searcher or you don't want to change the thread on your searcher, I highly recommend this foot. And I will also link it down below in the description box. If you care about matching the fabric print on both sides of the seam then double check that when you're cutting the pieces on fabric and use pins while you're sewing him the top edge and repeat the same with the bottom edge it's easier to do it now than later while the fabric is not scrunched up from shearing the fabric this will also save you a lot of time After hemming, then I'm making the first guideline for the shearing and the rest I will be using the width of the foot for spacing the rows. And it's important to do this on the right side of the fabric because the elastic needs to be hidden on the inside of your dress. So the top thread is showing on the right side and the elastic on the wrong side. Hem the pocket and feel free to draw guidelines. But first you need to overlock the edges besides the top edge. Change back to the regular foot and sew along the edge. Give the pockets a nice press. Position the pocket on the main panel, pin it down and be sure to double check for yourself if you like the position of the pocket. Um, if you're not sure, then you can do this after sharing. If you're happy with the position of the pocket placement, press the sides like so. Pin it in place and top stitch the pocket along the outer edge like so.
moving on with the straps cut the straps in half lengthwise and you will end up with four pieces I'm using a 18 millimeters bias tape maker. If you don't have a bias tape maker, then you can fold the fabric lengthwise in half, stitch a straight line and turn right side out. I'm just following the bias tape maker with an iron. After that, fold the strap in half like so and press it down. Once you have done that, sew along the edge with a top stitch. And this is how it should look after. And if you want to finish the end, you can double fold it like so and top stitch. Place the marking on the main panel where you want to position the straps. Place the same markings on the straps. If you're not sure about where to place the straps, you can do it after the shearing. Place the bobbin into the sewing machine the same way as usual. Stretch out the tail while holding the bobbin so it fits through the small section. Leave a long enough tail so that you can grab the elastic with um, the top thread when spinning the wheel. Before you start shearing, test the settings on scrap fabric. Start with a bigger stitch length and normal setting. Play around with different length and tensions. When studying, you need to pay attention to the top thread, the elastic and check if there are no skipped stitches. Also check the machine's manual for more info. These are the settings that I'm using. So I have the width at three and a half, the tension on 10. I believe I changed it later to 12. So in time, starting from the side seam, backstitch at the start and finishing. In the meantime, sew the straps in place at the markings. After the second or third row, you will see the fabric starting to gather more. So don't panic before that. If you aspire to make this dress as well, be sure to tag me on Instagram so I can see your final garment. Once you have reached one end of the row, backstitch again, lift up the foot without cutting the thread. This is to save time and to save thread. Position the foot for the next row, then you can continue to sew. Be sure not to forget to backstitch at the starting. From the second row, it is important to stretch out the fabric to get each row evenly gathered and that everything is nice and straight. While sewing, you can hear the elastic making a squeaky sound, so I believe that is normal. Uh, eventually my elastic got stuck, I don't know how it happened, but here you can see it better. What I did was removing the bobbing and put it back to the machine, backstitching where it got stuck and I just move on like nothing happened. So don't panic if that happens, just troubleshoot. One full bobbin was for me five and a half rows. At the fifth row, I changed the bobbin, but be sure to double check for yourself the bobbin after each row. The more rows you sew, the more you need to help your sewing machine like I'm um, showing here. Once you've done all your rows, you can cut the thread or leave it as is. Then measure the width if you're interested to see how much the fabric will shrink after steaming. So just go over with your iron without touching the fabric and the heat of the steam will shrink the elastic even more. So the fabric will be more far fitting at your bust. Then measure it again to see how much shrinkage you had on the fabric just to see. 